Good morning, all. Welcome to this short video today. Civil 3D templates, style versus layer controls. So understanding how to configure these styles, what are the best practices for it? Some different ideas to work with them and what promotes most flexibility for your for your design team and your firm. And one thing about templates is they're always a work in progress. They're never, are they ever done? No. So you're always tweaking them. You're always trying to optimize things. So keep in mind, it's always a work in progress and you know there's always changes being made to them. So engineering software with a hack. So if you like this, you know, you like these videos and you like what you're seeing, uh, please subscribe to this. The more subscribers I get, the more time I can devote to this. So uh, if you find these interesting and helpful with your design purposes, I encourage you to tune into these more often. All right, let's go ahead and jump into Civil 3D. And what we're going to do is we're just going to demonstrate style-based first layer-based control and uh, how it works. All right, so Civil 3D, let me crack this open. So I'm in Civil 3D 2023, but this is, uh, this is an age-old thing that goes way back. So any version you're in is going to perform the exact same way. So styles. So we have, you know, we have all those civil objects, those AEC objects and you know, those alignments, those surfaces, those corridors. And then we have what's a style. How do we how do we dis how do we control the display of that object? And they can you know they they can get super granular in terms of like how the labels are, how everything looks, feels, uh, section views, profile views, all that jazz. So for today we're just gonna talk about surfaces. And it seems like surfaces are the easiest one to you know there's a major and a minor minor contour and a couple other things to display. So fairly simple concept wise. So we'll start with surfaces, one you know, one of the AEC objects and we'll talk about uh but this applies to all the styles all the way down the down the down the tree. All right, so I have a surface in here. And you can see on the left side settings tab I have four styles. I have an ease and P, existing one and five, two and ten, same thing for my proposed. Now I have some crazy colors here for my surface. So if I go ahead and just grab my surface, go to surface properties, let's go ahead and swap this out. So I have a proposed one and five here. Then notice if I go to my existing one and five, we're going to watch this color go to something else crazy here. So then we got some you know bright, bright yellow, yellow and green colors. Now let's go ahead and let's crack the style open and you know take a look at what that well, you know what it's built on. So edit current selection right here. And now I'm within the surface style itself. So you can see surface style E dash one foot, five foot. Now, all this just, that's just the data of how it's displayed. Now let's go to the display tab, second one over from the right. And so light bulb means it's on. So that means we're gonna see that component. And so we have three components on. So we have our boundary, which you can see is that green color in the background down here. And then we have our major and our minor contours. So you know, C topo major dash E and C topo minor dash E and you can see the green and yellow in the background. Now if I go ahead and just grab this layer here, notice that the layer C topo major E right here, C topo major E which is set in that style and notice the color right here is set to by layer. So that means whatever color that layer is that dictates what this will display as. So we can see that we have green over here on the left side. So this is a green uh, contour interval by layer. And so let's, um, so just by layer, whatever it's set to, that's what it's gonna look like. Now we can't change this layer here within when we're picking it in the style. We have to do that from the layer properties manager. So we can't make changes to how things look within here, but we can change which layer it is uh, picked on. So let's go ahead and let's just go to our layer properties manager. We're gonna close out our style and we're just gonna change the layers. I'll change the layer color, so to speak. All right, close this out and let's go to layer. This is our layer properties manager. And I'm just gonna throw this out here and I don't want you to dock and I don't want you to hide. All right, so notice here my uh, C topo. Minor, major, E existing. No, it's green and yellow. So let's just go ahead and let's just change this color right here. So we know we have green. Let's make it light blue right here, with cyan. And notice now we have cyan lines for our surface style, for our major contour and roll. The same thing for minor right here. Notice that yellow. Let's make it, mm, maybe something that'll pop. We'll make it, let's just make it white. 
And notice now we have a white minor contour interval. So we're changing the layer color by layer base. Okay, now style control. So I'm just going to minimize this and we'll just go this, pop this right here. And all right, so let's just zoom out a little bit. Now notice that we were playing around with our existing surface style. So let's play around with our proposed right here. So I'm just going to grab the surface itself, surface properties, and we're going to change this to a proposed. So let's get this uh, proposed one and five. Back to those that purplish red mix. Now we'll go ahead and edit. And I'm going to edit the one and five surf cell. Now we're going to we're going to convert this to a style base. So let's say our major P right here is now let's set the by layer, and you know, we could crack that layer open and see what it looks. You know, if we wanted to grab this here and see what color red you know red shade it was, we could see that. But just normal red. So let's go ahead and let's change this. And what we're going to do is we're just going to override the settings. So what we're going to do is let's make it, uh, let's see, we don't have an orange color in here yet. So we'll make our C topo major orange and our C topo minor. Let's make it, do we have any light green? Uh, we'll make it cyan. How about that? Okay, cyan-ish. So say apply. And okay. Now notice we have our colors we just said here. Let's crack that style open one more time and take a look at that. Let's explain this here. So notice this is still on the layer C topo major P, C topo minor P. And but notice the color is not no longer set to by layer. So the color is 40 and 130. So that what that means it is hard coded into that style. This style is unique from any other styles on the file because we have said we want this style to look specific for the major and minor contour intervals. So what this means is that it really reduces flexibility. So let's say you want to change your one and five and two and 10, you would need to change them both because they both be hard coded. Or let's say you wanted to make changes anywhere else, that's all going to be tied right into the style itself. So you're going to be changing styles, not the layers. So let's say we go ahead and we go here, close everything down here, apply and okay, apply okay. And let's go to our service properties. And let's change this to uh, 2 and 10 right here. So we're going to see this go back to that uh, purple and red. Apply, okay. So we have that purple and red back for our 2 and 10. Now let's go ahead and let's change our purple and red. Remember, this is that by layer one. So we'll make this, uh, we'll make this, why don't we make this green and we'll make you, so you can see that change back here. And we'll make you uh, blue here. C topo major E. Oh, I changed my major, my existing. But let's make you uh, let's make you blue to be a proposed. So notice now we have this change. This is the two and ten. Right here we grab this open, service properties, and we just crack this display. Uh, go to the display tab of the style. Notice our major minor set the by layer. Color change. Now let's say we go back to that one we hard coded. So it's not you know let's make an estimate here or what our what's our guesstimate of what it's going to do is that it is going to hold those style based colors. It's not going to look like this one we just changed. So let's go to our proposed one and five right here. Let's say apply. And notice we're still with that orangey cyan mix here. If we crack this open. Even though it's going to the layer C topo major P, the color has been overridden by the style. So style based control. So to sum things up, style or layer-based control, which one's uh, which one's better? Uh, layers, layers the uh, better one for for most scenarios because it promotes the most flexibility. So making changes, you know, one, all your contour intervals are tied to the layer, so you change one and changes everything else. Also helps out with your plotting as well. Uh, but for, you know, there are situations where style-based control is needed as well. So we want this certain style to look a certain way. Uh, we want, we don't want to have flexibility. We want to, you know, maybe it's just a small firm or I'm just the only user group and I just, and I, I want it in the style. That's fine as well. So, but just understanding how each one works and how it, you know, how it can spread uh, downstream. So just think there's a lot of styles in your civil 3D template.
And if everything is set up by style based and then you want to make changes to a lot of things, it's going to take a long time to do it. First, if you have it all in the layer, layer based, it's really easy to make those changes. And then a while all the styles that are tied to that layer will, will follow suit. So keep in mind a couple different ways to work with uh, templates and your layer based control. So best of luck with your future designs and thank you for tuning in.